If you're interested in that and you really want to know what's in there on my go-tos, I'm telling you, I have solved all the things. I've gone to a lot of events and decorated. I know what people naturally need. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how, not how, it is not a how-to tutorial, that's coming up. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to go over my top 10 Amazon favorites for your event designing business. So if you would like to know what's my top 10 favorites, please keep watching. So the first one is my number one requested video on this channel. Um, I think it surpassed my diaper cake, so shout out to y'all for watching it. But it is the table arch kit. It's crazy because I got this arch kit in the way beginning a few years ago just to say, hey, this may be something that other people might be interested in. I think it was a cool setting. It came with little clamps, clips, and a pole that kind of breaks down. And you can put balloons on, which I've never seen at any party before. So I was like, wow, this is a pretty unique idea. Let me share it with those who might be interested. Fast forward about almost two years later, it's one of my top ranking videos, it's one of my number one viewed videos, and my number one increasing viewed videos. One thing I absolutely love about this table arch kit is it's simple, it's easy, and if you feel uncomfortable utilizing fishing wire, it has clips that you can use when it comes to utilizing this arch kit on amazon they have it for various prices i'll link the one that i kind of got two years ago obviously it depends on the seller and what they're selling but i'll definitely find a similar one and link it down below number two on my amazon favorites is my photo backdrop stand now when i first started doing videos and doing setups i invested in photo backdrop stand they're super cheap and inexpensive and pretty durable i've had one for almost two years now since my business started and it has served me so well i still use it to this day i have ventured off in getting other poles and backdrops i'm trying to get the official pipes and drinks now, if you're just getting started or you want something on the inexpensive side, I highly recommend this photo backdrop stand because it's just affordable, it's easy to do, you can get curtains from anywhere to put over it and then you can honestly make your, whatever backdrop you're utilizing it for, make it really stand out. So don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars when you first start off. First show what you can do and then invest later. My number three is a combination of two things, uh, just because it just made sense. It's my low and hot temperature glue gun. There is a huge difference that I had to figure it out on my own uh, through experience. So just know when someone tells you to use a low temperature glue gun versus a hot temperature glue gun, it's for a reason. A low temperature hot glue gun, it's good for things like putting smaller balloons on balloon garlands. This keeps it hot enough for it to have a cons sticky consistency and melt the glue but low enough in order for the balloons not to pop so most people you'll see on YouTube using hot glue guns they're usually using low temperature hot glue guns now it doesn't hot temperature glue gun does not take prevalence over super glue or e6000 glues those are more permanent glues and hot temperatures just means as a stronger adhesive than a hot low temperature glue gun. One that's a big one that I've utilized in my picture frame setup video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out this video right here. And um, it was one of the best things because it adhered the picture frames the way I wanted. Could have used the low temperature hot glue gun, yes, but I just didn't want to make the risk of it falling apart. So number four of my Amazon favorite is these fairy lights that I just recently put in my inventory. I got these fairy lights for a backdrop for my cousin Sweet 16. She actually wanted it and I had a bigger stand and I utilized it for that and it came out superb. I don't even know if people use that word but I'm gonna use it. <laughs> 
I love the way the reason why I love this particular fairy lights is because you can alter the way they flicker with a remote so it's so dope because you can literally set it the tone the way you want it it's like like really interactive party and people dancing and jumping you want some lights going off or little pictures cool if not you can slow things down or keep it still i will link that down below just be advised this particular one is for i believe it's either 10 or 12 feet of lengthwise for a backdrop stand my backdrop stand has 10 is 10 feet i got another different stand over time so it fit perfectly but just understand if you have one of those photo drop those photo backdrop stands that i just mentioned before you might have to adjust your stand to match the length of the fairy lights otherwise you'll have a bunch hanging on the end and you don't want that number five is my all-time favorite fishing wire this fishing wire i absolutely love because one it lasts me a whole like a bunch of events i just had to re-up and that's probably a year and a half of doing balloon garlands for videos and events so it really lasts a long time so you want to get the 10 pound fishing wire um that's about 700 yards and i usually get mine from walmart it's about four dollars i will link something similar down below to be honest i don't see a difference when it comes to the value of fishing wire or fishing line fishing i don't know whatever you call it but the only thing i would say is just to pay attention to the weight balloons can get heavy after a while especially when you're putting those ginormous balloons so just make sure you're aware of that um but just know whatever you pick up at walmart they have so many variations at least in my walmart that i have to pay attention to the front cover in order to know which ones i'm getting number six is my very own ring light now a lot of people are like well what does this have to do with your event designing business and i will tell you because i always answer your questions <laughs> the reason why i love this ring light one i had asked for it two years ago and my sister got it for me for christmas and it was one of the best investments that i invested in myself i mean yes i utilized the ring light for my youtube videos and channels but more light equals higher quality pictures and you want to make sure if you're in a dark setting where there's not a lot of windows at the venue or the house or the location that your pictures still stand out if you notice even in the dark you can't really tell because i'm still having a lot of the blue light with this ring it is on a little expensive side when it comes to it because you do have to buy the stand and the ring light separately but i'm telling you right now it's worth it if you don't want to buy the big one that i've bought you can always get a smaller version that's very inexpensive that pretty much does the same job i'll put both of them linked down below so that way you guys can choose which one you would love to get number seven is an all-time favorite of mine because i can't live without it <laughs> it is my balloon machine pump this pump okay has been my holy grail whenever i do videos whenever i do events well, it just in general it has saved my life now when I first started my event designing business or just in general learning how to do balloon garlands I just stuck with the one nozzle balloon pump just to kind of feel it out you don't have to get intimidated by a two nozzle one if you want to start off with one they sell one in party city and I will also as always link both down below because you want to get comfortable with it these balloon machine pumps are really 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 good for 12 inch 11 inch balloons you know the big 36 27 inch balloons some foil balloons i've had some issues where in the sense of i couldn't blow up certain ones the one the some of the balloons that it's not ideal for is the five inch balloons where in this video i taught you how to do um five inch clusters and i just recently found out an orbs balloon i had ordered an orbs balloon a couple of orbs balloons from my an event that i did but it didn't go through and i don't know how to solve that issue just yet but just know i'm going to figure it out and i'm going to let y'all know the hand pump is is okay the hand pump is ideal for when you're trying to control the size of the balloons but as a bonus i have a balloon sizer that i mean they have so many of them out there on amazon but this one costs like i think six or seven dollars maybe even less than that and i got two and they're just a simple cardboard and you kind of tape it together and boom there it is 
So number eight of my top um, 10 Amazon favorites is an interesting one because it's kind of like a hidden gem that I just recently found out. I got this duster or Swiffer, or whatever you want to call it, um, recently because I had saw, I'm a huge fan of other people that do balloon designs and I'm learning from them too. So if you follow or have been watching the Tyra Perez project, her channel is amazing. Please let her know I'm a huge fan. <laughs> um, but there was one video she had did and she had a duster. And I was just like, it's just so common sense that you don't even think about it. I used to just use a microfiber towel to kind of dust off the dirt and hair. Because your balloons will pick up everything. Everything. This little Swiffer on for a duster, I just dust it on the balloon garlands and it makes all the difference. So it's definitely worth an investment. So that way you can utilize if you are taking on balloon garlands for your event design business or just you want to, you know, you're doing it at home, your balloons will show you how dirty your house is even after you clean. Number nine is a secret weapon of mine. A lot of people ask me how do I put balloon garlands on the wall and here's a secret. You ready? I use command hooks. Command hooks are your friends. They are the go-to for anyone who trusts me to put a balloon garland on a wall. Through command hooks, they basically state that they won't ruin your walls, which is correct if you take it off correctly. It's easy, right? You have to make sure you're pulling it towards the wall. I usually buy these command hooks for very minimal weight just because I only utilize them for balloon garlands. I know in my past videos, like one right here, I use zip ties and I've noticed that I would always constantly need more zip ties or I just never knew the measurements. I just use balloon string. Most of the time you don't see it because as long as you measure it out correctly, you will do fine. Command hooks are your friends. Get a pack. I'll leave some link down below. Just a fair warning, most venues will not allow you to put command hooks on their walls. It has the possibility to damage them. It's cool and simple. If you're doing it at home to showcase your balloon guards is a great way. It won't damage your walls as long as you do it correctly. And if you don't do it correctly, do not come on in here and say, Just be quick. You're alive. You said it would have my walls. The last item on my top 10 Amazon favorites is my toolbox. AK, it's really called a tackle box. Um, my husband always corrects me, but I just call it my toolbox because it has my tools in it. So it's a toolbox. <laughs> I have searched high and low for this tackle box. I have found them in Joann's. I have found them online on Amazon. I will give you guys both links of hopefully they want may not be the same color they may not be the same style but it's kind of the same thing my tackle box holds all of my supplies that are needed for an event designing business even if you're not running your own business and you're doing something you're constantly being asked to do events or designing and you just love it in general you don't really care to turn it into a business this will be good for you too or just the people who love to stay organized in fact event decorators designers planners wedding decorators designers planners we are all tend to be a little messy and you have to stay as organized as you can give this video a thumbs up if you're organized if you're not you need to make sure you're organized because as your business grows or as you go over time and people request certain things from you you're going to build an inventory in order for it to be you know where everything is you have to stay organized so that's just a tip a free tip for you guys i do have a little freebie that you can sign up to learn what's in my toolbox all you have to do is click the link down below in the description box and i will send you a pdf version of what's in my toolbox along with some tips that I've learned when it came to designing events. If you're interested in that and you really want to know what's in there on my go-to's, I'm telling you I have solved all the things. I've gone to a lot of events and decorated. I know what people naturally need when it comes to these events. I condensed that all for you because I had to literally within the last year and a half I had to figure out what I need to take with me because every time I went I forgot something or I needed something and it wasn't there. Don't let that be you. I helped you. I'm solving your problem. That sounds like something you want. 
make sure to click that link down below. The reason why I did an Amazon favorites is because of my Instagram fam. We have reached 1K on Instagram. Thank you so much for those of you that do follow. If you don't follow me, you're missing out because this is usually when I do all my polls to get feedback from you guys. So it's a great way for you to DM me if you have questions. You know, come say hi. Don't hesitate to follow me if you can. Please make sure you're staying safe during this challenging time. I hope and pray each and every one of you are safe, your families are safe, your friends are safe, and that you are taking the precautions that you need to ensure you're, you're safe. That's a lot of safe. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Until the next time, I'll catch you guys in the... What? Let's <laughs> until the next guy. <laughs> okay, let's try it again.